Hey friends, Farmer Justin here, back inside the hoop house once again at the Falmouth School Gardens. And today is March 19th, Thursday. Uh, it's the last day of winter. We've made it through winter, can you believe it? Tomorrow's the first full day of spring, and the equinox, which is the time, the transition between winter and spring, happens tonight at 11.49 p.m. Uh, a lot of times we see it on March 20th, maybe the 21st, uh, but this year is sort of almost like it's bumped ahead a day and I'm wondering if you can figure out what is special about this year that means that it seems that this equinox happens a day earlier on our calendar. Uh, we would see something like this happen every four years. That's my hint for the day. And no, it's not the presidential election. Uh, now, I'm inside the hoop house to start off with. We're going to make it a quick video today, but I'm inside because I wanted to show you guys and hopefully some high school students will see this as well. Some this All of these trays that are right here were planted by high school students as part of an English class called Food, Culture, and Literature with Mr. Melnikov. And they've planted uh, spinach, uh, lettuce, some broccolis, let's see, beets, and I think some onions even got planted as well. So, but what's really exciting is they were, they were planted about a, a little over a week ago, maybe a week ago, and it's been pretty cold in here, but just in the last day or so, we've had a whole bunch of them start to germinate and pop up out of the soil. So I thought I would show you guys some of those things and then, after that, we're going to go outside and take a look for signs of springs outside. And I would love for you to take some time to go outside and find some signs of spring in your own yard uh, and report back to your teacher about it. Maybe make a drawing or a photograph or something like that. But first, let's take a look at this tray right here. Okay, this tray was planted 10 days ago. And oh, it's a type of kale, actually, on this one. And with the P3 on my little tag stands for period three in the high school. This is a kale plant and it's just beginning to germinate here. I don't know if you can see, but there's two little leaves that are first starting off, almost like heart shaped. And kale, broccoli, cabbage, all of them start off that way. Those leaves are called the cut. This tray we're looking at, can you guys see this little bit of red, this little speck of red happening here? Can you think of a red vegetable? How about beets? This is beets. It's called ace. And it was also planted on the 9th. And they're just starting to germinate. In fact, this there's a little bitty piece right here. That's the seed casing. Whoops. And as I've knocked off the seed casing, you can see the beginning of that cotyledon or that first. Those leaves, long and skinny. They're the leaves of spinach. The cotyledons of spinach. And if I move my camera right over here, here's a spinach leaf. Shape of that. But down underneath the very base of the plant is what's called the cotyledon. And it's the first leaf that comes out of the seed. I don't know about you, but I, thought it was, I think it's really interesting to see the different types of leaves that come up, especially the first ones that come out of the soil. Uh, but right now, we're going to head outside and take a look and see if we can find some signs of spring. All right, we have a lot going on here. But there's a couple of plants in here that are super exciting, I think, for main gardeners. One this little plant. You know what that is? Strawberry? Does that look familiar? Just beginning to grow. But another exciting plant which is pretty cool because it's related to all sorts of other plants that we're going to see at this time of, of year um, as they come out. This one I showed you on my scavenger hunt or my treasure hunt the other day. This one, if I can get it out Whoops, there's a little bit of a garlic clove. Kind of squished it a little bit, but the skin came off. There's that garlic clove. You remember the roots that we saw the other day? And the clove itself, and then the green. So if you look, here's some of the other plants. And notice there's a whole bunch of them, like a little cluster right here. And that's because a whole bulb of garlic was left there in the ground. And so all those came off of one and grew up out of the ground like that. These are 
nice because I bet you might have something like this in your yard coming up. Let's first focus on over here at this one. Check out that pattern. Look at that. Cool shape of the leaves. And those colors. Just amazing colors. Do you know what that is? It's a tulip. Those are a little bit later to come out in terms of flowers. A really cool plant. Now if we head on over here. Flat, long, thin, flat leaves. Well, the garlic was more of a V shape. They're daffodils. And if I pulled those up, I don't know if I can get one out without ruining it. There's a hole here already. Probably some critter was down there. Pull it up. I'm not gonna pull it up because I don't really don't want to hurt it. But if we look down there, it's actually got a little bulb, kind of like our garlic did. So we'll leave that there. I don't know. Probably gonna get yellow daffodils coming up there. All right, this is a pretty exciting find. This is right where a big, massive rhubarb plant was growing last year. It got really tall, maybe about two feet tall, and I think we should be able to find some signs of it starting to grow. Here's one of the old stalks from it last year. Let's see, I think I see stuff. See these really beautiful red stalks? That's the beginning of rhubarb. And everybody loves to eat rhubarb uh, with strawberries or just on its own. All right, friends, I've left the hoop house site and come over to the high school to check out this one particular little bush or tree. All right, a willow tree of some sort. And these are actually the beginning flowers of the plant. Another great sign of spring here in Maine. A lot of times people cut these and force them inside, force them by warming them up inside or just having them as pretty uh, bouquets. It's nice to have a little something that looks really kind of nice. And of course, they're super soft. One of our early plant signs for spring. Well, thanks for coming outside with me to look for signs of spring. Behind me is the orchard at the high school, the Falmouth High School. And right now, it's, it's still pretty dormant out here, but the buds are just starting to poke through on the apple trees. So I bet in a few weeks, maybe by the time you're back in school, these trees will all have started to leaf out and maybe we'll have some nice flowers coming. And with any luck, we'll have lots of fruit but in the fall. So anyhow, thanks again for coming out with me. And next week, I look forward to doing some more videos actually about growing plants and how we start them or how I start them at least here on campus and maybe you can get some seeds and some soil and start your own plants as well. See you soon. Take care of yourself. Be well.